Sign of the Cross ng mga Katoliko, gang sign daw sabi ng isang Pilipinang komedyante. Ma, Katoliko ba dito? Ano yan? Huwag kayong matakot. Kapalawan. Hindi <laughs> naman ako iglesia eh. <laughs> Imagine, sa lahat ng religion, kayo lang may kasi Gusto ko lang pong sabihin sa lahat ng mga na-offend sa Joko. I'm so sorry. Yo, what's up? This Real Talk Darbs. Ang pambansang good Samaritis ng Pilipinas wherein I'm trying to influence you how to think critically about sa mga recent issues ngayon dito sa Pilipinas. And today, we're gonna be discussing about another controversial issue patungkol sa isang komedya na binabash ngayon sa social media dahil sa kanyang joke about Catholics sign of the cross. Dapat nga bang gawing katatawanan ang paniniwala ng iba? Sumobra na nga ba ang joke niyang ito? O hindi lang marunong tumanggap ng biro ang mga tao. And of course, what are the things that we may be able to learn from this kind of situation? Let's find out. First, let me give you a context. The girl in the video ay kilala na si Jeline Cubillas, 31 years old. She is currently a comedian at Comedy Manila and co-host ng isang podcast called Lady Boss. Jeline is a food tech graduate in UP Diliman, but now she works as a web developer sa mga gigs at shows. She started doing startup during pandemic. She said, actually, sinubukan ko lang po siya nung pandemic kasi di ba nung pandemic, parang medyo isolated tayo. So parang naghanap ako ng mga hobbies, ganyan. Yung iba naging plantita, yung iba nag-bake. Ako, sinubukan ko yung stand-up comedy nung 2021 through open mic. She also added na bago siya makakuha ng shows, she did an open mic dahil yun pala ang test nila. She said, so ayun, sinubukan ko lang siya one since nagustuhan ko naman and very encouraging ang mga community actually. Now, let's go back to the issue. Last May 21, eh, nag-viral ang video na ini-upload ni Jeline sa kanyang account kung saan mapapanood ang clip ng kanyang comedy performance sa Sini Adarna at UP Diliman. Let me give you a summary para you'll be able to get the whole story without watching the entire video. It started sa kanyang pagtatanong sa audience ang sabi niya, Ma, katolik ko ba dito? Ano yan? Ano yan? Huwag kayong matakot. Kapalawan. <laughs> <laughs> Hanggang sa bumanat si Jeline na mataas daw ang kanyang tingin sa mga katoliko. Pero honestly kayo mga katoliko, mataas ang tingin ko sa inyo. Kasi mayroon kayong sign of the cross. Imagine, sa lahat ng religion, kayo lang may gang sign. <laughs> Let's define first gang sign. Sabi ng NJ Senate Republicans, it is used to identify their gang as a form of communication. They may also be flashed as a warning or a threat to rival gangs. They are often thrown out quickly, making interpretations difficult for the non-expert. Bukod dito, sinabi niya pa na meron daw siyang napapansing ginagawa ng mga katoliko. Sabi niya, Tapos napapansin ko pa di ba pag dumadaan kayo ba sa harap ng simbahan, ganyan, sasayang tapos kayo, tinaray ko siyang kaya hindi nasabi. Kaso ang weird pag ginawa mo yun, tapos support na kayo ka time of recording this video, it already garnered 7 million views at ibat ibang comments mula sa mga netizens about their take sa naturang video. Gaya na lamang ni Jeneline Makabata Escalona. If you want to preach, please just preach. Don't mock other religion just to justify yours. That won't make you a better person. Your beliefs may not be the same with others, pero sana at least have respect. Sabi ni Jewel, ye proud siya that she's utterly disrespectful. Sabi naman ni Edward, sa Catholic, my sign of the cross. Sa inyo naman, Bible quotes sa social media tapos personal salbahe. Disclaimer, hindi daw lahat. Sabi naman ni Celine Cortez, disrespecting other religion is not good. Sabi ni Jane, my husband is a born-again Christian and I am a Roman Catholic, but we respect each other. Maliban dito ay nakatanggap din si Jilly ng mga negative comments na karamihan ay mura at pangmamak patungkol sa kanya which is very below the belt na. Fast forward May 29 at 9.31am ay nagpost ng apology video si Jeline. Dito nagjoke siya na parang humihingi talaga siya ng apology. Sabi niya, um, Hello guys, this is my apology video. Gusto ko lang pong sabihin sa lahat ng mga na-offend sa joke ko. So sorry. Bukod 
dito, nakatanggap siya daw di umano ng iba't ibang klaseng threats. At ang sabi niya, Naman ako talaga matapos to kasi hindi ko na talaga kaya yung mga comments na nakukuha ko. Bangan ka namin sa labas. Bugin ka namin. Sobrang violente na. Sabay sabi ng joke sa dulo na Minsan naiisip ko Baka ga nga yung kinalaban ko Sa mga hindi nakakaalam Hindi sa issue na to Unang umingay ang pangalan ni Jeline It started off with her Tyrannosaurus Rex Jr. Joke na pinost ni Red Olerio Sa Facebook noong May 17, 2023 But this video happened 2 years ago It was actually a joke pertaining to our President and Vice President Now she said in the video na Namalayan kaya ng mga dinosaurs Na magiging extinct na sila Siguro hindi na namalayan no? Kasi malaki ang tiwala nila sa kanilang leader. Ito si Tyrannosaurus Rex <laughs> Jr. Dito, binuksan niya ang topic about Jason and Moira's breakup na ang mali nila ay masyado daw silang maagang naging Christian. Dapat muna hinintay nilang magkaroon ng sex scandal. Nasabi niya rin ang pangalan ni Hayden ko na alam natin na Christian na din yun. Nalulungkot ako kapag may mga religious couples na naghihiwalay. Nalala ko last year si Moira at si Jason na palitaan ni Bayon. Alam niyo ako lang naging mali sa relationship nila. Masyado silang maagang nag-Christian. Dapat kasi ginagawa yun after nyo na mag Tinan niyo si Hayden ko, di ba? Nag-quote na ng Bible verse Jelen admitted that her family, especially her father, got mad with her skit. Even her uncle, who is a pastor, messaged her. But she explained, matagal niya ng joke ang mga ito. Hindi niya lang talaga pinopost online dahil alam niyang dark ang humor niya since she's touching a very taboo topics. However, halata na mas marami na ngayong bashers si Jeline kesa followers. So, what are the three things we may be able to learn from this kind of situation? Number one, humor is subjective. There are no universal jokes. Hindi ibig sabihin na natawa yung isa, matatawa na rin ang pangalawa. What tickles one person's bone might leave another unamused. Since we lived in a religious country, wherein we have different religious sectors here, marami talagang ma-offend sa jokes niya. Hindi kasi natin ginagawang katatawanan ang pananampalataya. But if you're going to joke that to other countries na hindi tabu ang usapang religion, they will find that funny. It proves that not all jokes will resonate to everyone. Bigyan ko kayo ng analogy para makapag-isip kayo. Isang Asian comedian at isang white comedian. If the Asian jokes about the parenting style of an Asian parent, sa ating mga Asian, eh, pwede nating tawanan yan. Pero sa mga white, that's abuse. Bakit tumawa mga Asians? Because we relate to it and it resonated. Now, when white people jokes about the same thing, lalo na yung mga mix, nagagalit yung kapwa nilang white dahil hindi nga tama yun para sa kanila. They have what they called gentle parenting. It was the same topic, different audience, different comedian. I realized that humor is like language and not everyone speaks the same dialect. Some jokes gets lost into translation while others find a receptive audience. All in all, we can't crucify a comedian just because you don't find them funny. Parang relasyon lang yan. Baka sa iba ka talaga, sasaya. Number two, don't generalize. There are a lot of comments about her at naapektuhan doon yung buong image ng katulad niyang Christian. Nagkaroon ng stereotype na lahat daw ng Christian ay ganun mag-isip na walang respeto. But I assure you, hindi lahat ng born again ay katulad niyang mag-isip. And I hope that we don't judge people based on their chosen religion. Kahit sino pa yan, kahit ano pa yan. I have friends who worships the same God with me. And I have good friends who worship the other. And there are some who don't believe at all na may Diyos. But I embrace their uniqueness and differences. At ganun din sila sa akin. To generalize is to oversimplify. Remember that it is the enemy of open-mindedness and hinders growth in empathy and connection. And at the end of the day, we can all disagree and have different opinions, but we can still respect each other and we can still remain friends. Number three, a hand gesture is just a gesture until it's given meaning. So totoo lang, pansin ko ah, based sa comments, mas maraming na-offend 
dahil tinawag niyang gang sign ang sign of the cross. Kaysa sa linyang huwag kayong matakot, hindi ko kayo aawayin. Hindi naman ako iglesia. It's because gang sign isn't tolerated here in the Philippines. At mayroon tayong bad image sa gang. But if you will just understand it, if you just comprehend the joke, she's just basically saying na out of all religions, Catholic lang ang kapag nakapag sign of the cross, it means that they have prayed. It can represent solidarity, unity, and sense of belonging. That is why it's important not to generalize and assume negativity without understanding their cultural significance. Don't gonna realize that symbols and gestures are not inherently good or bad. It's the actions and the intentions of individuals that determine their morality. That's why rather than demonizing gang signs, let's focus on addressing the root causes of gang violence and providing support and opportunities for those at risk. Mayroong totoong problema. It's through empathy and understanding that we can make positive changes in our communities. Real talk. I don't actually find her funny. Instead na tuwa, may parte sa akin na nagising nung marinig ko siya. The emotion she evoked on me made me like her. You know why? Kasi maraming topics and issues ngayon dito sa Pilipinas na kung walang kagaya niya, baka hindi na natin mapag-usapan. But all in all, encountering a comedian who offends us and isn't funny can still offer valuable lessons. Ini-expose kasi tayo dito sa different perspectives. Binigyan din tayo ng opportunity to self-reflect sa sarili nating biases and sensitivities. It also highlights the power of language. Hindi ba kapag minura ka ng kapwa mo Pilipino, magagalit ka kasi maiintindihan mo yung sinabi. But try to go on places you don't understand their dialect. Hanggat hindi mo malalaman na minura ka na, eh wala ka pa rin reaksyon. Kasi nga, hindi mo naman naiintindihan. Matutunan din nating magkaroon ng personal boundaries. It helps us recognize what is acceptable and unacceptable for us. Doon nare-reinforce ang respecting others' boundaries as well. Lastly, it encourages critical thinking. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka na lang tanggap ng tanggap. Marunong ka na ring mag-isip. It encourages us to question why we hold certain opinions and what our own values and sense of humor are. Remember that this process can lead to personal growth and a better understanding ng sarili natin. While comedy is subjective, approaching these situations with an open mind allows us to extract valuable insights. Remember that it's not about being right or wrong. It's about taking what resonates and leave what doesn't. 